Times, The Guardian, Soros's a billionaire financier, the 29th richest man in the world, and Jewish spokesman for Labour said, see? <laughs> Meanwhile, President Macron granted French citizenship to a man that rescued a child from a balcony. Watching the dramatic scene on YouTube, Donald Trump couldn't help but be moved, exclaiming, we're going to have to build that wall a hell of a lot higher. <laughs> Paul and Henning, take a look at this. Oh, lovely carrots, lovely carrots being picked. Uh, avocados. Avocados right. and carrots. Eat somebody oh, from the 1940s. Oh, yeah, hello. And, uh, oh, God, these dreadful self-service machines in supermarkets where essentially you're, you work for them. Um, <laughs> avocados and carrots, nobody can tell the difference. It's shoplifting, isn't it? Computer-assisted shoplifting. Computer-assisted shoplifting. Robots. Yeah, of sorts. Yeah. yeah, so essentially you pretend that what you did, you bought carrots, yeah. but you're going home with the avocados. Uh -huh. But they're cheaper by the kilo. Right. Carrots are, so, is, that, uh, is that why that woman had such ludicrously large sleeves? Yeah, Basically exactly. just smuggling avocados. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happens is at the self-checkout, customers key in carrot when it's actually an avocado on the scale. It's a simple trick that supermarkets are hoping won't be publicised. <laughs> Criminology expert Emmeline Taylor was working with retailers to reduce shoplifting when something extraordinary emerged. One major supermarket discovered it had sold more carrots than it had ever had in stock. <laughs> in a further shocking revelation, supermarkets found that 800 million more carrots were apparently sold last year than in 2013. <laughs> I'm not going to say how I know this, but about just just for your information, yeah. 40 carrots, about one bottle of prosecco. If anyone has. <laughs> <laughs> what acronym has Ms. Taylor painstakingly created for this type of shopper? Probably something to do with shop. I can tell you that she calls them swipers. It's one of the most middle class things I've ever heard. It's seemingly well intentioned patrons engaging in routine shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Which high street shop do you hate the most? W. H. Smith. W. H. Smith. It's got the most number of complaints from a survey of ten thousand people. Yes, yeah, sadly. Mm. Yeah.